About a year ago, we covered the story of a water main break that impacted hundreds of thousands of people for about a week. Today, we learned technology could help prevent that from happening again. It's part of a new pilot program announced by the Great Lakes Water Authority. 7 Action News reporter Kim Russell is live in Farmington Hills. So, Kim, how does this work? Well, think about it. If you have water mains, you can't send people down into them filled with rushing water to inspect them and make sure that they're working correctly. However, I'm at Pioneer Park in Farmington Hills, where today at a press conference, the Great Lakes Water Authority showed us two robots able to do just that. This was the scene about one year ago. A break in a 48 inch main left about 300,000 people in 11 communities without safe water. For a week, many faced a boil water advisory. It impacted hospitals, senior communities, restaurants, and more. It happened because a small section of a main simply failed. Foresight's always better than hindsight, and that's what we want. Today, Great Lakes Water Authority CEO Sue McCormick announced a pilot program using new technology to assess the pipes and identify where there are problems. Pure Technology Senior Vice President Mike Higgins says this is called the pipe diver. It collects data that can pinpoint the exact location of weaknesses. Plus, this robot, the smart ball can be inserted into a pipeline to listen for the sound of an actual leak. Smart ball technology that you see on the table there uh, will be inserted into the pipeline and literally roll along the bottom of the pipeline to identify leaks. Now, this is just a small pilot program that's going to take a look at a small section of water main pipes. If it works, though, it could be expanded. It's a big project to take a look at everything. After all, the Great Lakes Water Authority has about 800 miles of large diameter pipes. It would take decades to inspect them all. Reporting live, Kim Russell, 7 Action News. And we're all hoping it works. Kim, thank you.